uh, it's uh, you cannot go back to the stage you previously won on. So some stages, some stage lists, you can't go back to the stage. So if you won on stadium, they beat you on town and they don't play stadium, you can't go back. But we don't play with that. We play with no DSs. We get three days. Oh, we're going into game two with another DVD. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not Donkey Kong. So don't worry about it. Just, just don't even know anything about it. This is, yeah, honestly, yeah, it's yeah. one of my favorite matchups. The heavy are always a fun matchup to watch. They're a fun matchup to play. If you play a heavy, play another heavy. They're always a fun matchup. Aww. Unless it's wrong. <laughs> Unless it's wrong. In that case, nobody has fun. <laughs> Oh, and they got him with the just wing of forward smash. We are both can uh, Elisha get a good, uh, no, nope, they cannot, they Wait, cannot get the edge guard. Mayday. Mayday, she. Oh. She is. Oh, but will DDD. Hey, no, where's Mayday? Oh, oh, but DDD fix the corner. Oh, for a double elimination. He, he did eat eyes in the back there, but the Gordo came back to avenge him. The Gordo shall live on. And the inhale. Oh. Up tilt. Good pressure on distance. Oh, but they gotta watch out for that, uh, for that fully charged punch. No one, oh, and the they get flipped by forward smash. Therefore, Elisha is in the lead. So you gotta watch out for Gordo hitting you back. Cause that will happen a lot. Oh, avoiding the first, uh, funky monkey. Or whatever it is. Oh. That car yeah, you can't sit on card girl throw, you gotta mash out of him. So now we are practically even again. Even stop. DD's at a little bit of a deficit, but few hits and DDD is practically tied again. But that charge shot is something you gotta keep an eye out on. You do not want to get caught up by that. That will lead to death. Gordo's such a fucking stupid move. Fucking Jesus Christ. I hate DDD so much. Fucking DDD is so silly. Such a silly guy. Fucking DDD is silly guy. That's back for Ethan, the. You know what? I'm not gonna give him the whole tag, but he pulls it out game one. Let's see how uh, Zach can adjust going forward. I know Esbeck has a cloud in the pocket, so I'm not sure if he's going to uh, utilize that going forward. All right, going back to PS2. Interesting decision to be open, given the Ding Dong combos from Donkey Kong. But hey, what's up, man? How you been? We're Didn't see you in bracket. Nice, nice. So the thing is about what you were saying about Ding Dong combos is it's like it's based in base build. Yeah, like it's the only cool thing about this game. It's like. If I die to a DK player to the actual Ding Dong, then I'll like ban the stage. But for the most part, so here's DK the thing, right? DK player has to be like really. You're thinking about a uh, conscious. Yeah. Think yeah, about like, about DDD DK particularly because I play like I play a lot of this against yeah. Rabio. Um, 
Gordo is so annoying. But like, when you play against a DDD, like, for fun, like friendlies or like just like hanging out with your squad, play DD, whatever. It's like DD's a super fun character to like play because DD's so silly, he's a silly guy. Exactly. In bracket, when you play a serious match against DD, it makes you want to puke. Yeah. It's just like, are you effing serious? This move, why am I not? And here's a punch. No Despite punch. Despite all that, Zach is off to a pretty hot start here. Just keeping the uh, F back in disadvantage here, keeping him out of his uh, advantage there, which is really where D D3 gets his mileage. Yeah, and especially considering that not a lot of people really know how to deal with like certain oh, the Sordo at ledge and all that. Yeah, um, it makes it a lot. Um, it makes it a lot more advantageous for D3 to get someone off stage more than DK in this, in this instance. But in this case, Zachman's just not letting him off the ledge, and is D3's uh, well, uh, nice. uh, run back F smash, El Clasico, that elite smash. But uh, yeah, Zachman, he's really utilizing um, B3's poor disadvantage to just keep him damaged. Like, look at that, he's already lapped him, and then some. That's really nice forward air instead of the other stage. Ooh! Okay. Nice Narrowly avoids the giant punch. Now the challenge is here is, can f -Beck take the stock before it really stacks up? It's not looking like it, but um, never nice. mind. Yep. Two frame just, dash uh, back. Two frames with the uh, yeah. dash back. Dash back. Yeah. And oh, ding dong. Okay. okay. This is why we don't go PS2. We actually right. didn't. He oh. didn't hit it in the first game, so. I am actually kind of hoping Epic loses just so we can see the stage counter pick. Well, this is game three. Is it? So yeah, it's one. Huh. Mm -hmm. And he's the third best DK in the state. By, by wins. Exactly. Yes, I'm the I'm the fifth best DK in the state, and I'm the third best at this universe. There's literally no chance. Who, okay, hold on. Dilster on. one, Zephyr two, Zach three, no neutral four, me five. Who has he beaten? Who? Zachman? Yeah. Uh, uh, the Delta Smasher. <laughs> uh, that is a three tour. That's not a significant uh, win. Well, well, who, 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 who would the other people beat? Right, who, who is who is? There's lost to be three. Who okay, be three? I'm gonna pull up no neutrals data later because there's no way. Uh, no neutral. When he Low came here, he would not. He beat Kitty, and then he would lose to like, like, like uh, Black Rose or something. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, him and Zachman are probably are probably pretty comparable. There was one DK yeah, saying, out. There was one DK out west who was really good. Hammerfall. Um, they have DK profile pick, so that was just my guess. Wait, who? Uh, Hammerfall. Uh, no, I don't think them. I'm thinking of uh, Pop Tart. He was like four, 13 and just had a ridiculous win rate. Zachman closes out game three. Two one. Yeah.